Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad. In this session, we would look at a comprehensive example that deals with payroll liabilities and deduction. Every time I mention the word example, it means I explain the concept in a separate recording. So if you want to see the explanation about this concept, please look at the previous recording. This topic is covered in financial accounting as well as the CPA exam. As always, please connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,000. 600 plus accounting auditing finance and tax lectures if you like my lectures please like them share them subscribe to the channel if they benefit you it means they might benefit other people please share the wealth especially these days with the coronavirus most students are staying home to learn their accounting material and please connect with me on instagram on my website, farhatlectures.com, you will find additional supplementary information if you are looking to supplement your accounting education and or especially your CPA exam, looking for those six to 10 extra point to get the 75 to pass the exam, check out my website. So let's take a look at this exercise. First, we want to make sure we understand what we are, what we are giving and what we are told to do. So this example basically illustrate all about payroll liabilities and a payroll register. So we have Star Company that has five employees. Employees by, paid by the hour earn $10 per hour for regular 40-hour work week and $15 per hour overtime beyond, beyond the 40-hour work week. Hourly employees are paid every two weeks, but salaried employees are paid monthly on the last bi-weekly payday of each month. FICA Social Security taxes are 6.2 for the first 128,400 paid to each employee. So the first thing we want to draw your attention to here, we are using the limit. So Social Security, you will you pay Social Security up to 128,400 and the rate is 6.2. The Medicare rate is 1.45. There is no limit. FUDA taxes is 0.6. And SUDA taxes 5.4% on also on the first 7,000. The company has a benefit plan that includes medical insurance, life insurance, and retirement funding for employees. Under this plan, the employees must contribute 5% of their gross income as a payroll withholding, which the company matches with double amount. So you pay and they match it, they match your contribution. F following is a partially completed payroll register for the bi-weekly period ending August 31st, which, which is the last day of August. So they are giving us enough information that we can complete this payroll register. So what are we looking at? So first, let's take a look at the payroll register and make sure we know how to read it. For example, here we have the employee name, Caitlin, Anthony, Nicole, their cumulative pay, exclude the current period. This is how much they earn up to this point. Caitlin, 126,600, Anthony, 6,800, the call 15,100, Zoe, so on and so forth. The current pay for this period, we have some individuals who are salaried and some who are hourly. So they're telling us which one is salary and which, which one is hourly. We are giving this the pay, how many hours they work this week, if any overtime. Remember the overtime, they get $15 for the overtime and the gross pay for the salary employee. Also, they're giving us the federal income tax withholding and the state income tax withholding, the federal as well as the state. Then we have to compute for each employee FURA and SURA, the FURA amount and the SURA amount for each employee. Then we have to compute FICA Social Security for the employee and FICA Social Security for the employer. It's the same for both. We're going to have to compute FICA Medicare for the employee and FICA Medicare for the employer. Again, it's going to be the same for both employee and employer because they are the same. The employee benefit plan withholding, EE benefit plan withholding, it's going to be 5% of their gross pay and the employer will double that amount, will double that amount. Then the last column, which is not clearly shown, it's going to be the net, the net pay. So starting with Caitlin, again, as we said, uh, FICA, um, I'm sorry, Federal and state income taxes are, ta are, are, being, uh, are being computed for us or giving already. We have to compute FURA and SURA. Here's what we are told from the problem. FURA is 0. 0.6 and SURA is 5.4 on the first 7,000. Well, only the first 7,000. 
Caitlin already made 126,600. Caitlin already w exceeded 7,000 a long time ago. There, therefore, there is no Fura and there is no Suta for her. Now we need to compute, if any, the, F the FICA Social Security for the employee and the FICA Medicare for the employee. Now, there's also a limit for FICA Social Security. What's the limit? The limit, as we are told, the limit is 128,400, and this could change 128,400. Now, as of today, as of not today, as of as of the prior period, Caitlin already made Caitlin already made 126,600. If we add the seven thousand dollar, if we add, if we take one twenty six six hundred and we add seven thousand dollar to that amount, it's gonna take her to one thirty three six hundred. What happened is this. So if, if this is the limit, if this is, let me change the pen here. If this is the limit, if this is one twenty eight four hundred, Caitlin was right here. Caitlin was at one twenty six. 600 and with this pay she's going to go above the limit she's going to be 133 600 remember any amount above the limit any amount above the limit so this amount here is ss social security tax free so the amount here is not social security tax free and how much is the amount here well we have to take the difference between 128 400 minus 126 600 so if we take 128,400 and we deduct we deduct from it 126 600 the the amount that's subject to social security is 1,800 so simply put she's going to be paid 7,000 of this amount 1,800 is subject to social security and the remainder whatever the remainder is which is the difference between 7,000 and 1,800 which is 5,200, this is SS tax free, and this is the 1,800 is taxable. Now we're gonna take the 1,800 and multiply it by 6.2%, that's the rate for Social Security. So if we take 1,800 times 0 0.062, that's gonna give us $111.60. So that's Social Security, FICA Social Security, 111, 60 and that's going to be both for the employee for the employee and the employer for both the employee and the employer now we found we found the social security so caitlin part of it was taxable part of it was not taxable why because she she already uh, with this paycheck she exceeded the limit now going forward till the end of the year going forward she will not have to pay social security and the employer will not have to pay social security as well because caitlin exceeded the limit caitlin exceeded the limit okay so that's social security let's find out about medicare well medicare is pretty straightforward we'll take the gross pay seven thousand dollar times 1.45 percent and that's going to give us 100 one dollars and fifty cent one hundred one dollars and fifty cent well now we have to compute the benefit the benefit it's going to be five percent the benefit is five percent of the gross pay all what you do is you'll take seven thousand times five percent and that's going to give us 350 the employer is going to double that amount it's going to be seven um, seven hundred the employer will contribute seven hundred okay now we have to compute the net pay. So what is the net pay? Okay, the net pay is the gross pay minus all the deductions. So what is the net pay for this example? The net, sorry, what's the gross pay? The gross pay is $7,000. Then we have to deduct from the gross pay. We have to deduct from the gross pay, and this is gonna be for all of them, but, but now you know, but, because I can't do the computation every time. So we're gonna deduct state income tax, federal income tax. We're gonna also go, going to be deducting one, 111.6 for the employee portion, 101.50 for the employer portion, and we're gonna be deducting the employee benefit portion. So if we take 7,000, so let's take 7,000 minus 2,000 for federal income tax, minus 300 for the state income tax, minus 111. 
1.6 for Social Security, minus 101.5 for Medicare, minus 350 for the benefit, the employee, this employee would earn net $4,136.90. The other ones, this amount, this amount, and this amount, those were paid by the employer. That's why we did not deduct them because they were paid by the employer. Now let's take a look at Anthony's pay. Okay, now we're done with Caitlin. Now we're gonna look at Anthony's pay. Anthony is getting $500, it's a salary, and Anthony already earned $6,800. Well, they already gave us the federal income tax, they already gave us the state income tax. Now we need to compute FURA and SURA, if any. Would, her, would, would his earning of $500 be subject to FURA and SURA? Yes, no, or partially? And the answer is partially, because the limit for SURA and FURA is $7,000. Anthony is, is right here. Anthony is at 6,800. With this paycheck, Anthony will be at 7,300. So of this $500, part of it will be taxable. Part, I'm sorry, part of it will be subject to FURA and SURA, and part of it will not. So the only part, it's 200, because once you add 200 to 6,800, you would reach 7,000. Now what we need to do is take 200 multiplied by the rate, and rate for FURA is 0.6%. So FURA is $1.20. $1.20. And for FURA, I'm sorry, for SURA, for the state, times 5.4%. And that's going to give us $10.80. $10.80. So we're done with FURA and SURA. Social Security, Anthony is way, way um, if way far from the limit. So he, he only earned 6,800 and the limit is 128,400. Simply we have to take 6,800 times 6.2% and that's going to give us $31, $31 for Social Security. He pays 31, the employer pays 31. Then for Medicare, the same thing. There's no, actually, there's no limit. It's 6,800 times 1.45, which is $7.25. Seven dollars. He pays seven twenty-five. The employer pays seven twenty-five, and they already filled out the. They already filled out the benefit. Twenty. He pays twenty-five. The employer pays double that amount. So Anthony's net pay is three thirty-six point seven five. Remember, we don't. We only deduct the one that I showed you with Caitlin in red. Nicole. Nicole. Um, Nicole worked eighty hours regular hours, which is that's going to give Nicole $800 because 80 times 10 and Nicole worked an extra eight hours, which is times 15, which is going to be 120. So the gross pay for Nicole is 920, the gross pay. We're already given federal and state. Now we have to compute SURA, no SURA because Nicole already earned 15,100. There is no SURA and there is no FURA for her. Now, when it comes to social, social security, you know, no problem. She's way far away from the limit. So 920 times 6.2, that's going to be $57.04. Same thing with employer and the employee, $57.04. For Medicare, the same thing, 920 times 1.45, which is $13.34. $13.34. Now we're going to take 920 times 5% for the benefit. That's $46. That's going to be $46. And the employer will double that in benefit. That's 92, the double of 46.92. Then we have to compute Nicole's net pay. Again, it's the gross pay, 920 minus the federal, minus the state, minus the Social Security minus the Medicare minus the benefit, and that's going to give Nicole a net pay of $668.62. Now let's look at Zoe. Zoe already earned $6,500. So let's see if she, let's see what's going to happen here. Same concept. Um, she worked 80 hours times 10, that's 800. She worked four extra hours, which is going to be $60, four times 15. The gross pay is 860. 
Now notice what's going to happen. This 860, it's going to put her above the 7,000 limit for Fura and Sura. So, so before, so before this pay, if this is the limit, this is 7,000 is the limit. Before this pay, 6,500 is here. After this pay, if we take 6,800 plus 860, it's going to put put Zoe above 7,000. What does that mean? It means only 500 is subject to Fura and Sura. Therefore, we'll take 500 times 0.6%, 0 0.6%, 0 0.6%, and that's going to give us, that's going to give us $3. That's going to give us $3. And we're going to take 500 times 5.4%, and that's going to give us $27 for Fura. Now for Social Security, it's 860 times 860 times 6.2, which is $53, $53.32. And she pays that amount and the employer pays that amount. We're going to take the gross pay times 1.45, that's going to be $12.47. $12.47. Take the gross pay 860 times 5%, that's going to give us $43. She pays 43. The employer matches the du match, double that amount and matches 86. And Zoe's gross pay is 629.21. Now we still have Gracie. Uh, Gracie, uh, the Gracie amount. Okay, let's take a look at Gracie's amount. Uh, Gracie already earned five thousand, and the regular pay is seven forty. Okay, well, guess what? Five thousand plus seven forty, she's going to be below seven thousand. Therefore, the full seven forty is subject to Fura and Sura. Therefore, we're going to take seven forty times 06 percent, and that's going to be four dollars and forty four cent. And we're going to take 740 times 5.4%, and that's going to be $39.96. Now, with Social Security, it's going to be 740 times 6.2, which is way grace, gracie away from the limit, which is 128400 And that's going to give us $45.88. $45.88. Forty-five, eighty-eight, forty-five, eighty-eight. For Medicare, the same thing. The gross pay seven forty times one point four five. That's gonna give her ten dollars and seventy-three cent. Ten dollars and seventy-three cent for Medicare. And for the employee benefit, she's gonna have to pay five percent of her gross pay, which comes up to thirty-seven dollars. Multiply that by two, the employer will have to come up with $74. And Gracie take home pay is $535.39. Now on the payroll register, what you do is you add up everything. So all the federal state unemployment is 2380 All the state unemployment withholding is 338 If we add up all of FUDA, FUDA, it's going to add up to all of FUDA. So, bas so basically what I'm doing now is adding up all of FUDA for the period. And the add up to $8.64. All of SUDA add up to $77. This is for all the employees during this period. And $0.76. Cent. All of Social Security, $298.84. And the other number has to be the same because they always equal to each other. All of Medicare, one forty-five twenty-nine, one hundred forty-five dollars, one twenty, one forty-five twenty-nine. And for the benefit, the employee paid five hundred one. And the employer paid the double, 1002 And the net pay for all the employees is $6,306.87. So this is the net pay. Now what, what you'll be asked is to complete the journal entry. The journal entry. Okay, so when, 
when the company pay those employees, they have to make a journal entry. What journal entry do they make? Well, what journal entry do they make? Think about it. If we look, if we add up the total of the gross pay, we didn't add up the gross pay. We have to add up the gross pay. So we're gonna we're gonna add up seven seven thousand plus five hundred plus nine twenty plus eight sixty plus seven forty. They add up to ten thousand and twenty dollars. So this is the expense. So we're gonna debit salaries expense ten thousand twenty dollars. We're gonna credit all the withholding and we're gonna credit the, the payable for the employees. So it would look something like this. We debit salaries or wages expense. Then we credit FICA payable for social security 298 and it's coming from here. This is the employee portion. Medicare payable 145. Again, it's coming from this 145.29. Then employee federal taxes payable, employee state income taxes payable, employee benefit, and salaries payable. We're, we're going to pay the employees net 6306 This was on August 31st when we pay them the following day, September 1st, when we cut the check, we debit the payable, and we credit the cash. So what we did, we filled out the payroll register, and we cut the check. This is not the only thing that you have to do. Remember, what we did now, let just kind of show, let me highlight in yellow. What I just did, I recorded the expense and I withheld. This is what I did. My journal entry, everything that I highlighted in yellow coming from those highlighted in yellow. Now, what's going to happen is the employer, remember the employer also, so I'm going to highlight this in green, see if this is work. I'm going to highlight those numbers in green. Those are the employer portion of things. So simply put, the employer paid FICA, uh, will have to pay FICA, Social Security, FICA, Medicare, federal unemployment, state unemployment, and they also have to accrue the employee benefits. So let's do the entry for those highlighted in green. So what's going to happen is we're going to have to credit FICA, Social Security payable for the employer, same amount, FICA, Medicare for the employer, the same amount, Federal unemployment, $8.64. State unemployment, $77.76. And for all of these, we will debit payroll tax expense. So this is the employer payroll tax expense because they paid the employee, which is $530.53. Now, also, we have to accrue the employee benefit expense because we the, the company was responsible for 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 doubling the benefit whatever the employee paid they paid the double and the amount is 1002 we'll debit an expense and we credit a payable now eventually what's going to happen all these payable all these payable will have to cut a check for all these payable so when we cut the check for all these payable as well as these payables okay now we can combine them for example we can combine fica social security payable here and fica fica social security payable here because um sorry sorry we can combine we can combine this FICA payable Social Security with this FICA payable Social Security. We can combine this FICA Medicare with this FICA Medicare. So those are combined. So what we do, once we are ready to cut the check, we combine the FICA's Social Security, the, the FICA Medicare, we debit the payable, the, the, the federal, when we pay the state, we debit the state. When we we when we pay the employee benefit, we, 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 we debit the employee benefit plan payable when we debit the uh, federal and we debit the uh, federal unemployment and the state unemployment then we credit the cash for the full the for the full amount for the full amount um then we credit the check we credit the amount the, we credit the check for the full amount okay which is the full amount 5245 actually we don't we don't write we don't write the same check. Simply put, in the real world, here's what happened. FICA, FICA, and federal, those goes to Washington, D.C. Actually, they go to the same amount. They go to, we can cut the same check for those. Then, depending what your state you live in, you know, the state income tax goes to the state capital, wherever you live in. The employee benefit, remember, they have four, they had the health insurance, dental, and 401k retirement, so we'd have to cut separate paychecks. Um, federal unemployment goes separate to a separate place and state unemployment goes to a separate place. So basically we have one, two, three, 
four, five, six, eight, eight different checks. This is one check. This is two. And the employee benefit, we have three type of benefits. That's three, one, and one. So, sorry, one, two, five, seven. We cut literally in the real world, you'll have to cut seven separate checks. So I hope this, this exercise um, helped you understand how we, how we journalize entries for payroll. Payroll. If you have any questions, I suggest if you are totally lost, I, su I suggest you, you view the recording explaining the concept of payroll liabilities. Um, otherwise, hopefully this exercise kind of reinforce your knowledge about this topic. Any questions, email me. If you like this recording, please like it. In the next session, we would look estimated and contingent liabilities. Like the recording, share it. Visit my website for additional resources. Study hard and stay motivated.